Phil, tell us about the event that's been happening here today, SPE Limited. Okay, so today we've had an open day, uh, first of all to promote our company, SPE Limited, which is a precision machine shop, uh, and also to launch a new company that we've started as a joint venture called Eclipse AM, which is a subcontract of additive manufactured parts. We, we travel the length and breadth of the country, and in fact Europe as well, going to events. We don't very often come to them at call it the manufacturing precision engineering company we normally at the OEM the people that make the machines w what's behind the idea well we've invested in a decent facility you know we um, as well as producing decent parts we produce them in a decent environment um, we think we've got quite a showcase of a building so why not hold it here and, and when did you move here then I'm assuming from your comments it's only recently you've been housed here it feels recent but it's actually two years ago now so um, we should have had a, an open day when we moved but it was business as usual and I think the launch of the new AM company has allowed us to have a rethink and, and do that finally. And who have you invited here and, and who's turned up? What sort of clientele? It's been a mixture of existing customers and prospective ones. Uh, certainly a lot of the prospective ones are on the AM side. Um, but in saying that, a lot of our existing customers are looking to work on design projects using AM technology. So, yeah, a uh, bit of both, really. It's, it's definitely an interesting move to try and bring your, your customers here to see you. Has it paid off? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we've always uh, kind of conducted our companies over forward thinking. Uh, you know, we've always invested in technology. You see that on the machine shop. So to uh, encompass and um, embrace a new technology like AM is the right thing for us to do. Additive manufacturing aside, on the machining side, the, call it the, the, the milling and turning and yeah. maybe other disciplines, who, what, what kind of industries are you working for and what sort of machines do you operate? Um, we do a lot of scientific and medical companies. Um, we do quite a bit of aerospace work. We're AS9100 uh, accredited. And we're doing some uh, decent automotive parts as well, mainly in specialist areas uh, like F1 and motorsport. And do you practice five-axis machining, um, uh, production turning, for example? Yeah, uh, we, we've heavily invested in our five-axis uh, capability in the last two years. The additive manufacturing one, this is an interesting one. I know we're going to go inside and meet with Simon, but I'd be interested to know why you set up this venture and what your thoughts are for the future of it. Um, some of it's calculated, but some of it's good fortune. Um, Simon is the XMD of Renishaw Additive Manufacturing, uh, based in Stone, which is 10 miles down the road. Um, we've done some work, actually, for Renishaw in the past, um, Simon had a vision to create a subcontract company but wanted to do that with a, an engineering company to offer a full solution. So, you know, we're aware that a lot of um, additive manufactured parts need post machining, so that's what got our interest. To, to, so for us to be able to set up this company with a pi one of the pioneers of uh, the additive manufacturing industry is perfect. And, and generally for the, the two companies, is a lot of your work um, for the domestic market or do you export as well? Uh, most of it's for the domestic market, but I can see as the Eclipse AM company grows, we'll be exporting quite a bit. And the fact that you're doing this obviously shows you currently have no concerns about the impending Brexit and stuff like that? Not at the moment. We just gauge um, our performance and future on, on how our customers uh, are performing and the information we get from them. And so far, uh, we don't see any, any issues.